Hi, my name is John Eason from Fishtech. And last week we spoke about the 200 kilohertz 20 degree cone and what we expect to see on Lawrence's Mark 5X uh, Pro. The 200 kilohertz that we looked at last week, you will find that frequency on the Mark 5X. But with the Mark 5X Pro, you've got two frequencies. You've got the 200 kilohertz and the 83 kilohertz. What we're going to look at this week is what can you expect to see on the 83 kilohertz when compared to the 200 kilohertz. Basically with the 83 kilohertz what they've done is they've filtered the uh, 20 degree cone out a little bit so now we should have around about a 60 degree coverage area. Let's have a look what that looks like on the unit as we go over, go over our simulated uh, course. We're looking at the 83 kilohertz now. Um, we started off in the shallows and the first thing that we're going to bump into is the two pound tennis ball, what we call the two pound tennis ball. That's basically simulating what a one kg fish should look like on our fish finder. I've got them marked with, uh, with markers. Obviously the, the tennis ball is attached to a marker boy. Um, let's see what that looks like on the 83 kilohertz. You can see from quite a distance away, we start seeing the, the arch from the tennis ball quite clearly. And now we're going over the brush pile. The brush pile is also marked with a, uh, a marker. The reason why we're using those markers on the brush pile specifically is that this unit doesn't have a GPS. So, you, so when you find something, you, you've got to mark it somehow. And the cheapest, easiest way is just a simple little H marker. 